Hey guys, I hope everybody's safe. I hope everybody's well. I want to show you how I make uh, lemonade my way. I, I don't fancy it up. You can do that um, if you're having guests or whatever, but I'm going to show you how to make low-carb, keto-ish friendly uh, lemonade. I also do this method with iced tea. I don't buy um, sugar anymore. But I, I miss my iced teas, I miss my lemonades, all different flavors, strawberry lemonade, raspberry lemonade, iced teas, uh, lemonade lemonade. Uh, I'm just going to show you the basics and then you take it from there. Um, so what you're going to need is you're going to need some kind of container. I have a carafe here and uh, I have monk fruit sweetener. It's all I use. One day I want to use stevia. Uh, and when I do, I'm going to um, review that for you guys. But it's it's hell of expensive. And your favorite lemonade drink, okay? And you're going to need some big container to mix it up, okay? So what we're going to do is you need a whisk. You could also use a blender if you don't want to do all this. But I, I just prefer to whisk everything. You just want the, the, the sweetener to dissolve. That's all you're doing. So... So what you're going to do is you're going to put in some bottled water. It doesn't matter because you're just using it to dissolve the sugar, okay? Okay, and what I do is I have a half a cup, and I add a half a cup at a time. See that? That's a half a cup. I know it's warm, but I'm just going to put it in here. And what I do is I do a half a cup at a time and I stir um, because this stuff is too sweet. Okay. And then you just whisk it until it dissolves and then taste it. Okay, you guys, I had to add um, a quarter cup of monk fruit sweetener. And then I whisked it until it was it's all dissolved. See, it's all dissolved. And then we're going to add our lemonade. You don't have to use this. I just craved it because I haven't had it in years. Okay, you want to add that in there. Okay, you guys, I already mixed in the monk fruit sweetener, which was a half a cup and a quarter cup. Um, really, whatever sweetener you're using, just add to taste, but I would start small. I start at a half a cup, okay, and then I work my way up because I don't like it too sweet and I don't want to waste any product because this stuff is expensive, okay, and not only that, even though this stuff is cheap, you still don't want to waste anything. I'm not, I'm not a wasteful person at all, um, but let me say this, if I understand that people like real lemonade. Of course, I do too. You know, squeezing the lemons and all this other stuff. But sometimes you're just, you want some Kool-Aid. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's up to you. Sometimes I make my Kool-Aids and my iced teas from scratch. Sometimes I make them from stuff like this. It doesn't matter. As long as it's what you like, what you enjoy, and it's a healthier sweetener alternative that you're using. Okay, so I already mixed everything in. Give it a final whisk. Taste it, make sure it's to your liking, and then we're going to pour into the container. All right, you guys, there you have it. It's basically the same method as um, make an iced tea or your favorite lemonade the regular old-fashioned way. You just got to replace the sweetener, that's all. I mean, this is how I make it really quick. Uh, you can use your own your own way. Like I said, just make sure that the sweetener is low carb and keto friendly or keto. Okay. So this is my lemonade. I put in chopped up some lemon in there. Okay. And this is the drink. Hell, you can add some alcohol in here. Call it a day. And there you guys go. You don't have to miss out on your favorite drinks or your favorite foods just because of all the sugars and the calories and all that. There is hope, you guys, and this is absolutely delicious. I just added some ice and a few garnishes.
that is amazing. I love that. That is amazing. So there you guys go. I hope that helped. I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.